Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit. Today I'm making smoked barbecue oxtails. For those of you not familiar with oxtails, they're not oxtails at all. They're cattle tails, like from a cow or a steer. Oxtail is simply the culinary term for cow tails. Why they don't call them cow tails, I don't know. If you've never had oxtails, you definitely want to give them a try. Oxtails have a lot of fat, which makes the meat succulent, melting your mouth tender, and mouth watering delicious. So let's get started and get these in the smoker. I have about five pounds of oxtails that I'm gonna very generously season with Wolf Rub Bold Barbecue Seasoning. You can use your favorite barbecue rub or salt and pepper or salt and pepper and garlic or whatever combination you like. Now toss them around, make sure all sides are coated. Now you can put these on the smoker right now or you can put them in the fridge for a couple hours or even up to overnight. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for a couple hours. After chilling out in the fridge for a couple hours, the oxtails are ready for the smoker. I have my grill preheated to 250 degrees and I'm using cherry wood for smoke. Now close the lid and let these smoke for two to three hours at 250 degrees. Now here they are after smoking for two hours and they don't quite have the color or texture I want yet. So I'm gonna close the lid and let them smoke for another hour. Now here they are after smoking for three hours and boy do they look and smell good. But they're not yet tender yet. So I'm gonna wrap the pan in aluminum foil and let them braise in their own fat and juices for another hour and a half to two hours or until tender. After smoking for three hours and braising for two, for a total cook time of five hours, our oxtails are done. If you'd like a full printable copy of this recipe and many more barbecue recipes, visit thewolfpit.com. Now using a fork or your fingers, if you want to burn your fingers off, start pulling the meat apart and removing the bones and any excess fat. Now I'm a really big fan of barbecue pulled beef to begin with, but this smoked barbecued oxtail is absolutely amazing. First of all, the meat is succulent and rich, not to mention absolutely delicious. But the texture of the meat is what's blowing me away. It literally melts in your mouth. No teeth are required. So when you make this, invite your grandparents over for dinner. Now pile it high on a nice toasted onion roll, Kaiser roll, hamburger roll, white bread. I don't care what you put it on, just eat it. Now I'm gonna to top it with my thick and chunky and absolutely delicious homemade bacon bourbon barbecue sauce. Now, if you want the recipe for the bacon bourbon barbecue sauce, stay tuned. The video will be coming up soon. And there you have it. Smoked barbecue oxtail on a toasted onion roll with bacon bourbon barbecue sauce. Now smash it down, dislocate your jaw, and take a big old bite. Like I said before, I was already a huge fan of barbecue beef to begin with, but this is by far the best barbecue beef I've ever made or ever had. And I gotta give kudos to the bacon bourbon barbecue sauce it was the perfect barbecue sauce for this sandwich. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you give this a try. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.